Hey, this is Brad here at Pro, Winchester, Virginia. Today, we're gonna to be discussing some of the different ways that you can assist exercises. Let's take a look. First, we can use a movement assistance. This is essentially active assisted range of motion or passive range of motion that's been added to the exercise. Looking at single leg lowering, active single leg lowering requires the client to hold one leg statically in the air and lower the other to the ground. If they have really bad hamstring length, you're gonna end up looking like Jake does here. So. We're going to use the wall to assist the static leg and hopefully get more out of the exercise. Next, the core assist. A core assist is basically using some added stimulus to get the core turned on in a way that is not directly correlated with the movement itself. A bridge with a kettlebell armbar is an example of using the kettlebell as a stimulus to get the core turned on beyond baseline to enhance the movement and muscle activation or potentially help reduce pain. Finally, there's also a pattern assist, which is an added stimulus that mimics or is a part of the movement in order to again enhance the pattern, increase muscle activation, or potentially reduce pain. This can be done by finding a sweet spot of resistance. In the Bulgarian split squat, as Jake goes into the squat, the natural reciprocal movement of the body is to raise the opposite arm like running. If we exploit this and put a relatively light kettlebell in a front rack position, it can improve the quality of the movement. Everything we covered here are the main categories of assists that we use here at Pro. Just like in our series on neurodevelopmental posture progressions, the idea is that we're improving the overall motor learning. For more information or educational content, check out our Instagram, Facebook, YouTube channel, or website. As always, thank you all for watching and see you next time.